My name is Delaney and I'm a first year master's student with the Health and Wellness Lab at the University of Calgary. And today we'll be, we will be going through the bicep curl exercise from the ACE Home Base Maintenance Program. So this is a great upper body exercise that primarily works the biceps, which are these muscles on the front of your arm right here. I will provide a couple levels of difficulty, so choose the one that feels most comfortable for you to begin with. Uh, there is a disclaimer up on our Health and Wellness Lab website, so make sure to give that a read prior to starting any home-based exercise. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at ace at ucalgary.ca. Okay, so let's get started with this bicep curl. Uh, I will show you a couple variations, but we can first begin with our home-based dumbbell bicep curl. Uh, so I don't have dumbbells at home. If you do, that's fantastic. Um, but anything that has a little bit of weight and can be held in your hands will do uh, just as well as a dumbbell. So I have chosen soup cans as my dumbbells today. So what we're going to start with for our bicep curl is our feet are both hip width apart, just make sure they're comfortable. We're going to have our arms down at our sides with our palms facing outwards. And as we curl up, we want to make sure that we're only hinging from the elbows and these arms are not swinging. They're in control the entire time. We want to ensure that we have a full range of motion. So again, when you come up, make sure you come up all the way to the top. Touch your shoulders if, if that feels comfortable to you. And then on the way back down, we want to ensure that we extend our elbows at the bottom. Another thing to think about while doing this exercise or any exercise in general is your breathing. So when you're doing the difficult part of the exercise, we want to make sure that we're breathing out. And on the easier part or downhill part of the exercise, Want to make sure that we're regaining our breath and breathing in. So for this exercise, the way up is the difficult part, so that's when we will exhale, and the way back down is the easier part. So we're going to start with a big breath in, and the way up, we're going to breathe out, and the way back down, we'll breathe in. So that's just something to think about as you're doing the exercise. It keeps your breathing regular and helps you feel a connection with your body when you're doing the exercise. So, some modifications that we can do for the bicep curl if you don't have dumbbells but you happen to have an exercise band around the house is use an exercise band for the dumbbell or for the bicep curl. So, this could be easier or harder than the dumbbell curl based on the resistance of your band. But the great thing about exercise bands is that you can change the resistance uh, on your own depending on where you place your feet. So, if you want it to be a bit easier, you can place your feet together in the middle of the band. And I'm standing on it with two feet. Here. I know you can't really see, um, but if you want it to be more difficult, you can spread your feet out a little bit and get more resistance on that band. So we're going to be doing the same motion here with the bicep curl. Again, we want our feet wherever you feel comfortable with uh, for the resistance. Our palms are facing out uh, at our sides. And with our neck and our shoulders, we want to make sure that they're down and away from our ears. We don't want them tense and tight and close to the ears. We spend so much of our day like that. We want to make sure that our neck down away from the ears and shoulder blades are back and in a neutral position. So that's a great starting position for this bicep curl. We're just going to do the same thing. We're going to breathe out on the way up. Make sure that we get a full range of motion at the top. Breathe in on the way down and extend for a full range of motion at the bottom. So just like that, again, you can change the resistance, play with your feet, uh, whatever feels comfortable to you. Oh, and also both of these exercises can either be done single arm or double arm. So using the band or the soup cans, you can do a single arm curl. You can do one at a time, so one side at a time, uh, or you can alternate depending on what you feel comfortable with. If you're looking for reps um, or timing for this exercise, for single arm, you could do 10 aside, and then together, if you want to do double arm, just do 10. Uh, 10 to 15 would be a good range for this exercise. And if you're looking for timing, about 45 seconds uh, to one minute would be great for this exercise as well. And that's a bicep curl with a couple different modifications that you can try. Uh, I hope you enjoy using your soup cans as dumbbells.